Welcome. Hello. This is Seattle Sacred Music and Art Sama. My name is Derek Mazzoni, and it's uh, great to have everybody here. We're going to be spending some time with a master on an instrument that I've fallen in love with years and years and years ago, and every time I hear somebody play it or a record comes of this instrument being performed, I'm always raising an eye, like, this is going to be nice. I'm talking about the kora, an instrument which is known throughout Mali, Guinea, and the surrounding region. And tonight, we're going to have Yakoba Sissoko, a master on the kora. Yakoba was born in Kita, Mali, to a well-known uh, Jele family. Jellies for centuries have been the traditional musicians and keepers of the factual history and fables of past rulers, nobles, social groups, and families. The kora, of course, was the traditional instruments uh, that the jellies played. And we are, of course, living in history right now. And I'm going to be speaking to you, Kuba, in just a little bit about the role uh, of being this storyteller on the kora and how that is uh, being affected by the histories that we're living in right now. Um, Yakuba? Yeah? Thank you for being here. It's nice to see you again, at least virtually. Hopefully, soon, once we get through this pandemic and whatever future uh, will be, we'll have a chance to have you grace the stages here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. Thank you so uh, much, uh, there for uh, having me uh, again. Um, even though it's a, a, a live screen, uh, mm -hmm. you know, still we are here. We can, you know, still do it. We can share some music. Now, you started um, you started uh, training on a kora at the age of nine. That's really young for any instrument. And you learned through your grandfather? Was this a way of passing down um, this knowledge and his heritage? Yes. Did you want to learn, or was it like, no, you're going to learn? I mean, I wanted to learn, because okay. what they, they taught me as a baby, I fell in love with the kora. Every time my grandfather would start playing kora, I would just... Uh, before even I start walking, I will, I will crawl and grab a cora and set back. And uh, he said, because of a cora, I made my first step. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So and the sign, you know, so he said that I'll, I'm going to become a cora player. Oh, that's beautiful. And uh, you um, started, stu you studied in Bamako, in Mali's capital, uh, at the National Institute of the Arts. And then you moved to the United States in 1998 and now you're living in the New York area. Um, and, um, you know, we, we talked about this, of course, a little beforehand. We're dealing with uh, unprecedented times uh, throughout history. Uh, we're living in history right now, a pandemic with social changes, hopefully uh, amazing transformations that we, we need as much as possible. And I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to speak to you about that, especially somebody coming from Mali and now living in the United States and what your thoughts are on this. But I uh, would love um, to hear some music first. Sure. Let's play some music. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, I would like to uh, begin the, this, this night with uh, a beautiful song uh, of mine, my own uh, uh, composition. Uh, it's called, you know, Jamfa, which means betrayal. So uh, in everything that you do in your life, you have to expect someone that you have you can trust will betray you so which is not good sometimes it disappoints yeah. but i love the song enjoy okay. it well. thank you
Was a jump file betrayal, and the next one is called um, Asumunga, which means uh, a lovely person.
The next one, Mamadou Boutique, which means a uh, rich guy, rich person, someone who has a lot of money and uh, can help people who thinks that the money is not everything. So enjoy this one.
you. Thank you very much. I can hear it. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Ah. Uh, okay, good now. Good. It's great. Yakuba, that was beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, um, and I must say that it was transcendent because it really uh, created, for me and I know for others that are here right now, I, we felt like we could be in Mali right now, Absolutely. you know, at the end of the day. Um, listening to this amazing instrument and the way you're playing it with these particular songs and the stories around that and the history and the legacy of it. And thank you for, for sharing your work with, with Sama. Um, a couple of uh, one things I wanted to let people know because we're doing this live right now. If you have any questions for Yakuba, please, um, please let us know. Um, and we will uh, we will get them on, and we'll ask you Kuba directly. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, how it's the instrument made, and how long uh, does it take for it to be made? Uh, the reason I'm asking is that um, we're all aware of uh, uh, Balaka Sissoko's Kora was dismantled on a flight um, by uh, uh, by TSA, TSA, and it can't be put back together. So I'm, I would I would love your your take on that, please. Balaki is my cousin, by the way, so it's, it's a okay. family. Yeah. Um, you know, Kora is made of gore, like you see, it's a calabash, and you the skin is a cow skin. But some people make some, you know, commercial Kora with, you know, gold skin, but it's not, it, Kora doesn't go with the gold skin. Goat skin, it's, it's, it's always good with cow skin. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is a cow skin on a cora, and uh, the hardwood. We have a special uh, tree in West Africa uh, called ge, genu. It's a very strong wood that we make cora. All the musical instruments also in Africa, djembe, balophone, everything, with wooding instrument, we use that tree. Um, and you see the rings, they are also piece of skin very fresh braids against the neck so soon this get dry they are the tuning pit mm -hmm. you know, so holding each strings pushing them up you get sharp pushing down you get flat so and the, the same is like a, here the bridge same kind of wood holding each strings here in the front and uh, there's a mirror in the bottom to hold also um, uh, other strings are coming from up to uh, the bottom. Okay. And uh, it's handmade. Every Cora player from Jelly family, you are, you have an obligation to know how to build your own Cora. With, but not just now the, the, with the, the modern Cora, but this one, we have to learn this in the family. You cannot buy your instrument from someone. So, uh, if you get all those material together to make a core, it's like in Africa it takes just a two weeks to uh, to build. Sometimes a three weeks, it depends. Um, but that's a, to to make a core between two to three weeks. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're Thank you. That's a lot of people because it's such a striking instrument, and I know that anytime I've seen it played, people are like, "What? How? What? Tell me more about this." And then the sound that comes from it—it's—it's it's so resonant and it has so much of that sacred energy. Um, uh, so I wanted to chat with you a little bit before we go right back to the music. Um, your role as a storyteller in this culture and on this instrument—we're living in history right now. These are the stories of of our transition of the pandemic and social unrest that are going on right now. And I'm curious of how you, as a songwriter um, and a performer, how how you know how would you incorporate what's happening right now into your performances, into your songwriting? Great question. Actually. Um this moment is uh, uh, everywhere, not on one place. Even in Africa, I know I'm hearing uh, that it's, it's really uh, reflecting on a couple of, uh, but not as much as here in, in America, Europe, and uh, um, uh, China. But this is a moment remarkable. Like we, we are learning something in this moment. And uh, 
the whole humanity need to know that we are not here for nothing we are here to know something and share and uh, do good have a history back because when we're not here the day we we go to other place some other can uh, know what happened in our moment but if we don't keep it to share they won't know like uh, in a mundane society we are jolly we know all the story is not writing they told us our parents told us it's like a from mouth to ear so it's moment to stay home to realize little break but as we can't stay home we have to write something to make a history and uh, compose write so many songs about it and uh, after this is over the world can hear us what was our experience and we praying for everybody's safety to stay home you know wash your hands and make sure you save your family because something bigger is coming after this you need to hurt and you can share with your family so to me it's good at some point is bad but good some you know at some point because people can learn something in this and also uh, uh, have a gift for their family you know, you know children growing up perfect thank you so much You're perfect welcome. and especially you know the day before Juneteenth which is such an important day Uh, in America and and it's being resonated more and more and I love to hear your voice and I love to hear the choral play and I love to hear your perspective on this we'd love to hear some more music though whenever you're second all right uh, the next one I'm going to offer uh, it's called Alalake Alalake it's uh, giving thanks to God you know to thank God for you know everything you know in this world beautiful world beautiful life beautiful people the great creature so it's a lot like in Jesus
Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, I have uh, another last one for you. And uh, it's called uh, Na, which means mother. Because uh, we all have to give a big thanks you know, to our mother for all the amazing uh, job they have done for us. You know, uh, you can't never pay your mother for what she, you know she has done for you. So mother are very 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 important in the world in our lives. So this is for all the mother in the world, you know, including mine and you know all the beautiful mother. So they have to enjoy this song and we thank them again. May God bless all the beautiful mother in the world.
Bravo. That was beautiful. Thank you very much. That is exactly what we needed right now, Yakuba. Thank you so much, Yakuba Sissoko. Thank you. Beautiful Cora recital. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank um, you. So this is um, Sama Seattle Circuit Music and Art. We do a live stream every Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where you can actually communicate with the artist and us. This video will be available on Yakuba's social media page on his website also, um, and which is yakusiskora.com. There's a link uh, directly here. Um, please go to uh, seattlecircuitmusic.com and sign up for more information. We're in this together. We're all working on healing and transcending this um, this difficult and yet amazing time and this music, Yakuba, just adds so such a layer of beauty. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Derek, for having me. Thanks. I'd love to have you back again and uh, you know, until the stages are open, we can do it this way. Um, this is beautiful. Thank you, thank you very much. Be safe, be well, and we will see you soon. Big shout out to um, Seattle Theater Group who are co-presenting this and to everybody that has made this happen. Thank you. Be well. Peace, love. love. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Bye.